off, use a trim tool and take all these push pins out. And grab the panel and slide it off. Now we're going to take these 10 millimeter bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. Underneath, we want to take these two bolts out, use a 10 millimeter socket. these bolts out on both sides, use a 10 millimeter socket. And these as well. Take this push pin out, just use a trim tool. Pop that out and do the same on the other side. I'm going to remove the wheel. You don't necessarily need to remove the wheel. You could turn it back and forth to get it out of your way. Use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pop this center cap off. I'm just going to use a rag behind a straight blade screwdriver just so I don't scratch the wheel. And pop that off just like that. Use a 22 millimeter socket and take the lug nuts off. And pull the wheel off. Inside the wheel well, we want to take the bolts out that are right there. There's two more up here. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take those out. There's a bolt right here. Use a seven millimeter socket. Take it out. Now just grab the bumper on the side here. Don't grab the bracket above here and just forcefully just pull it out. That should be loose like that. You can do the same on the other side. Disconnect this connector right here. Just get pushed down on the little tab there. And then it's kind of like a ratchet. As this slides down, this slides out. Use a trim tool and just pry these out. Right there, right there. Now the top part of the bumper is held on by a few clips. There's a clip right there. You just want to get underneath there just to pop this off. Just pull up on the bumper a little bit while you're doing this. Take that off and same with the other side. Inside behind the grill there is a clip right here. You want to use a pick, a long pick or a screwdriver. Just get underneath here and just unclip it. Should be able to just lift up. That will slide out and then do the same on the other side. There we go. It's popped up now and grab the bumper and just carefully slide it forward. It may help if you have an assistant. And it slides right off. Remove this wire right here. You just use a trim tool. Pull that fastener out, just like that. There's another fastener over here. And you can slide that wire to the side. Disconnect the connector right here. There's a little lock tab. Slide that back, and then you push down the lock. Slide that out. Now using a seven millimeter socket, we're going to take these screws out. And there's one more right here. And grab the light assembly and slide it out. And then you're going to do the same for the other side. We're going to take the wiring harness off now. We want to disconnect all the connectors. Slide that out, the lock tab with a screwdriver. Push down on the connector, slide it off. 
use a trim tool and just pry all of these off. And you can disconnect all the connectors. And take this harness off here. Just use a trim tool. Pop that off. And slide this up. You can disconnect the connector right here. Pop this off first. That can pop off. Here's a little lock tab here. You can slide this little lock tab out. Push down on that and then slide the connector out. And there's the harness. Take these screws out down here. Use a T25 socket. There's one there. Get one in the middle here. One over here. There's these clips at the top. You want to pop those out. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just push down on this tab slightly. Just try to pry this out. Just like this. Just want it down just enough. So that it pops out. Do the same on the other side. Now separate the bumper from the grill up top here. This is just gonna slide out. Putting a little bit of pressure, just take a straight blade screwdriver, just push in these little pockets right here. They're just clipped in. You just basically go in and push to the side. how you can get that to unlatch. And just try to separate that. And all along the bottom as well. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And there's the grill. Now take the parking sensors out and just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get underneath here, pry that down, pry the top part out. You can use a little pressure from the front of the sensor. Push, push it back a little. And it comes out. We'll do the same with the other ones. Take this panel off, use a seven millimeter socket. There's a screw right here, one here. One here, and we're going to do the same for the other side. Take these brackets off, use a seven millimeter socket, take these bolts out, slide those off. Use a T15 socket and take these screws off. Then you're going to have to get underneath here with a scraper or a trim tool. And it's got double-sided tape on the, that side. So you want to just peel that away. And it slides off like that. You're going to have to clean up all of this and get some new double-sided tape. With a T15 socket, you want to take all these screws out on the bottom of the bumper. All those out. Now with a little bit of pressure, we're just going to slide this off. Just get underneath here. Just pry those clips out. Just using a pocket screwdriver is fine, or a trim tool. And once you get that last one out, then you can slide this shield out of the way. 
Before we take the lower grill out, we're gonna have to take this plate bracket off. They are riveted in on the bottom and then just screwed in the top. If you have all just screws, just take those out, take that off. You just use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these screws out. For the rivet, I'm just gonna punch out the center first. Start with a small punch that fits. Punch that out, then you can drill it. Now I'll just drill this out. If it starts spinning, you can use some pliers from the other side. Just drill that out. Same on this one. And then slide that off. Now we're gonna take all these push clips off. Just use a straight blade screwdriver. Just push that in. Slide those out. Just like that. They come out pretty easily. Just like the ones from before, There's some over here. Now we can push this grill out. Just use a put a little bit of pressure there, and then just pry up where the clips are. Just like that. Just with a pocket screwdriver is fine. And then underneath, it's clipped in as well. Tip this on its side. Just try to push those out. And it should slide right out. <coughs> Just like that. Then on the side, we want to take the trim pieces off. Just do the same with these clips. Just push these up. Slide those out. Same with this one. And you can put a little bit of pressure on where the clips were. And there's a couple other clips where it's clipped in. Just want to pry underneath there. And it slides right out. You can do the same with the other side. Take this lower grill and just line this up. And gently push the clips in. All those clips are in. All these clips in place, the ones on the side, and the other side. Now put this trim in place, slide that in, get this lined up, get it all clipped in, then on the back side. Now push these clips in, one there, and the other one right here. And you can do the same on the other side. Some of these J-nuts have to be transferred over down below. Just take a screwdriver, just pry up, pull those out, and we'll transfer them right here. So not all of them, some, there is still some J-nuts, just transfer over the ones you need. Now take this piece underneath and you want it to line up. Now get all the screws started. Once those are started, And you want to tighten those down. Just snug them up. And same on the other ones. Now take this trim piece. You want to clean this up real good. 
and put some double-sided tape on there and just clean up the inside of here. Use like an alcohol wipe and line that up. Make sure you have some of the tape pulled out so that you can pull that off. And put the bolts in here. Get those all started. And while holding this down, tighten these bolts down. Snug those up. Do the same on the other side. Take these brackets. There is a couple tabs so you don't get them mixed up right to left. Line those up, get the bolts started. And tighten these down. Do the same on this side. Now take these panels, line these up, and get the bolts started. And tighten those down. And do the same on the other side. Now take the grill, line it up in the center. And just very carefully, you want to clip it back in place. And take these clips, line this up, lock it in place. Do the same on the other side. Now you want to put these sensors in, line these up. And just push, just like that. Do the same on the other ones. Now take the wiring harness, get that started. You can plug in the sensors, lock it down. And just put it in the same way it came out. Push all the lock locks in. up and then plug the camera in, lock that down and re-secure that. Now just slide this in place just like that. Take all the screws, get those all started and tighten them down. And plug it in, lock it down, push down on the lock. Take these three screws from down below, get those started, and tighten those down. And grab the bumper and slide it in position. You want to take the wiring harness first. This has to come up top here. So have this over here. I'll plug that in in a minute. Get everything lined up. Looks good there. Get this over here. Now let's get the sides of the bumper on first. Push those in. Do the same on the other side. And line the connector up. Ratchet that down. You can push these push pins back in place. Good. 
Now put the screw right here where that goes. Snug that down, make sure this lines up pretty good. Then the inner fender well, line those up. And get these bolts started. And if there was push pins down here, push those in. And put the bolts in here. Snug those down. Right there. This one right here on these brackets. And over here, tighten those down. And the same on the other side. Put the tire back on. Line that up. Put the nuts on. Now we're gonna torque the lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Take the center cap, look on the back, see where the key is for the valve stem, line that up, and push it back on. Now I'll put the bolts in up top, get those all started. Tighten those down. I'll put the cover on, line it up, take all the push pins, and push those in. Take the plate bracket, you want to line this up with the center of the vehicle, and there's a couple little notches right here that just rides up against that lip, so make sure that looks center. You can get that to line up. Right there, that looks good there. And take the proper drill bit. Take the rivets. So you're gonna have to line the drill bit up with the rivets. Make sure you get the right size. Rivet that on, do the same on the other one. 